Hello and welcome back to another episode. Now today, I know, I know, we're not playing a scary computer game as I hoped to, but we will, we will at some point in November play some scary games. But today I simply had to share with you a discovery I made over the weekend. One of the first videos I made on this YouTube channel was all about my love of Spider-Man 2 on GameCube. It was one of the first and most important things I wanted to share with the world, and that was the fact that Spider-Man 2 is, for many people, and, and for me included, the epitome of Spider-Man experiences in, in terms of computer game worlds. It's like GTA, but with Spidey. It's fun, uh, even though it's based on a movie, uh, you know, m m usually movie licensed titles suck, but this game was excellent. And one of the things that made Spider-Man 2 so good was the way that it, it adhered to physical rules. And one of those rules was that you had to anchor your webs to buildings or to other structures to get around New York. You couldn't, for example, as you could in Spider-Man 3, or indeed Spider-Man 1, uh, just anchor seemingly to clouds. It's, you know, it doesn't really matter where you put your webs, you're going to be able to swing. For example, above the top of trees in Central Park. It made no sense. It just pulled me out of the world and, and ruined some of these experiences. Whereas Spider-Man 2 never did that. Spider-Man 2 was always at the tippy top of Spider-Man games. But over the weekend, I came across a game that might be better than Spider-Man 2. And that's Ultimate Spider-Man on GameCube. This game just took me by surprise. It came out in 2005 apparently, one year after Spider-Man 2, uh, so you, I'm amazed I didn't, I didn't know about this game. Uh, it's made by the same team that made Spider-Man 2, but with a few notable differences. Um, one of those being the art style. So the first thing that you'll notice is that Spidey looks a bit a bit bug-eyed, a bit like a grey alien, as it were. And I don't mind that, I quite like the, the art style. It's, it's based on the, um, the Ultimate Comics, the Spider-Man, oh, so the Ultimate Spider-Man comics, and that's fine by me. I, I really don't mind. The structure of New York is very similar, uh, although they've, they've now got, a, 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 as they boast on the back of the, back of the box, a fleshed-out Queens area. Um, and, uh, Crucially, this game controls almost exactly the same as Spider-Man 2. That webbing thing that I was talking about is intact in this game. You have to anchor to buildings and to other structures to get around New York. New York itself looks similar, but has that sort of ultimate Spider-Man cartoony look to it, which I don't mind at all. After all, Spider-Man is based on a comic book. and. Uh, that was all very pleasant surprise, but then a few other things started to, to really make me smile. And there's one thing in particular that got me grinning uh, yesterday, but I'll uh, come back to that in just a second. In fact, we're, we're heading over there now. Something that, uh, that I immediately appreciated, though, was the fact that they, didn't, they don't sort of hold your hand too much with this game. The training wheels are off from the beginning. Uh, whereas in Spider-Man 2 you have to unlock, for example, the boost swing, so pressing B to sort of s speed up your swing, uh, and also the web zip, where you can sort of do this, you can sort of pull yourself forward by uh, pressing both the L and the R um, shoulder buttons at the same time. These things are unlocked from the beginning, and actually so is most of New York. It, it, you, you, yeah, you can just start swinging and start swinging at an advanced level, uh, especially if you've already played Spider-Man 2 right from the beginning. That made me grin and made me smile, uh, and it was. It, I was. I, I thought that uh, that this game couldn't surprise me any more until I came across a certain building. Now we're almost there. I think you need to keep on swinging. Just keep swinging. Just keep swinging. Ah, there we go. The, um, speaking of which, actually, in terms of swinging, the, the Spider-Man is just as agile and easy to control as he was in Spider-Man 2. Again, just as you'd expect, if it's the same development team, why wouldn't it control in a very similar way? And feel very similar, and just bring a smile to your face. Um, but aside, as I say, from, from, the, from the gameplay similarities, this game has something different in so much as it's not based on the Sam Raimi movie. And therefore, it's somewhat freer. Uh, it hasn't got the, uh, the constraints of a Spider-Man movie, and therefore, it's able to show you things like the Sanctum Sanctorum, Stephen Strange's place, 
This is what I came across yesterday and I couldn't believe it. I was grinning from ear to ear. My, my lovely wife was sat on the couch. I turned to her and went, it's Stephen Strange's building. This is what made me grin. And it's the fact that this game, just as with the Spider-Man comics, can weave in elements of other people and other heroes, for example, from, uh, from, from Spidey's universe in very elegant ways. Speaking of which, this game is a bit different to Spider-Man 2 in some respects, in so much as um, you actually periodically play as Venom, Eddie Brock and Venom. So every now and then the story switches from Spider-Man and Peter Parker to Eddie, uh, and you get to be sort of all vicious, and as it says uh, on the back of the box, you know, unleash your feral side, and uh, take out sort of army guys and this kind of thing with the powers of Venom. Um, and as Venom, you get to fight... Wolverine at one point. Uh, I fought Wolverine in a bar in this game, which is incredibly cool. <laughs> so this is what's making me think, is this game better than Spider-Man 2? It's got the benefits of Spider-Man 2, the, the, you know, the physical gameplay, the world that they've created. It's got some sim similar elements, such as collecting tokens and, and also you know, solving certain crimes. Um, the, uh, every now and then, citizens will be injured and you have to take them to hospital. Well, let's say they've been involved in a car crash. I'm not sure it's the safest way to get them there, but you can swing them to, to the nearest hospital. Um, <laughs> it's got some very similar things to Spider-Man 2, but in addition to that, it's got the, the license, freedom, to play with the Marvel Universe. Uh, for example, I've, I've had to, en you know, I've engaged in a race with uh, Johnny Storm. Uh, the Baxter Building is somewhere here in New York for, for us to find. Um, the, uh, the, uh, the, 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 yeah, there are various other elements which are hinted at. There's, there are adverts for Craven the Hunter, for example. Now, Craven and, and some other bad guys, I do believe, do turn up in Spider-Man. Uh, there you go, Craven, Craven the Hunter. There you go. Um, do turn up in Spider-Man uh, 1 and 2, I think, uh, the movie license franchise. But then, you know, they are, they are what the game developers think a movie version of the Vulture would be, if you say to me. Uh, and there, there's, there's, for example, a wonderful Vulture Easter egg in Spider-Man 2, having uh, beaten him in Spider-Man 1, where on, uh, I think, the Eiffel Tower, not uh, the Eiffel Tower, the Empire State Building, um, there, is, uh, there are some green Vulture uh, feathers where you defeated him. Um, so, so, yes, they did have that, but in this game, they literally have the comic book incarnations. Yes, they are the ultimate... Uh, Spider-Man versions of these bad guys. For example, I fought Rhino um, in, the, in a previous mission. In fact, the mission that I just did prior to prior to filming this. Um, so, so yeah, so, so they're not necessarily the classic 80s and 90s incarnations. Or, for example, the incarnations from the uh, 90s uh, cartoon. But nonetheless, you feel as though this is Marvel's New York. This isn't New York with Spider-Man swinging around it. Uh, this isn't Sam Raimi's or Sony's New York. Um, this is Marvel's New York. This is what's making me think this might be better than Spider-Man 2. That said, though, there are some weaknesses. Um, the combat isn't as elegant or, uh, I suppose, niftily applied. Um, which is strange, again, considering this came out one year after Spider-Man 2. You'd think it would be exactly the same. But there are some elements when it comes to fighting bad guys that, that just aren't as satisfying. Uh, you can't, in this game, at least I haven't been able to yet, um, stand on, or sorry, sit on a um, on top of a lamppost. You could do that in Spider-Man 2. You could sort of come to rest on lampposts. But I haven't been able to do that yet. Such a shame. Um, although you can web up bad guys onto lampposts. That's quite pleasing. So things like that then make me think, oh, is Spider-Man 2 actually a more accomplished simulation in terms of what it'd be like to be Spider-Man swinging around New York? I don't know. I mean, in that sense, I suppose really the jury is out. And maybe what I should say is that Spider-Man 2 and Ultimate Spider-Man are very, very close to being equal in my book. But nonetheless, I mean, ultimately, ultimately, um, this game is a brilliant Spider-Man game. And I, I didn't think there, would, there were any others. I, I thought Spider-Man 2 was it. So even if, if, if this is you know, a, bit, a little bit less satisfying in some respects, it uh, more than makes up for it in the fact that this is a new, fresh experience, for, well, for me at least. And, uh, and also as well, it's, it has got that Marvel 
element. Uh, Nick Fury, for example, I believe, turns up in the game, um, so the various other characters. I think possibly um, you might even get Tony Stark and co. Uh, I'm loving it. I'm absolutely loving this Spider-Man game, and uh, I just had to share it with you. As, as, especially, as I say, having been living under the the illusion that there were no others, that you know that that, that I was I was going to have to wait and see what the PlayStation 4 Spider-Man was like before considering getting a PlayStation to play it. <laughs> um, I now have this to play with, and uh, I couldn't be more happy. Um, now, there's one thing that, that, that I suppose that uh, certainly my wife, when she saw, saw uh, story elements unfolding in the game, that she was a bit confused about, uh, and uh, I, I guess that's just part of the Ultimate Universe, is that, for example, in this, in this universe, MJ knows that Peter is Spidey. So they're, they're in high school together, but she's, for example, at the beginning of the game, fixing his costume for him. Uh, apparently he had a hole in the butt. Uh, and he says that he'll explain later. <laughs> um, so the, yeah, if you if you're not necessarily a fan of 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 uh, as it were the ultimate universe, and there are uh, well, so it's not quite the same thing, is it? Because there are for, there's, there is, for example, Avengers Ultimate, which is slightly different. Um, but I know the, the various ultimate incarnations of Marvel characters don't yeah they always go down well with everyone. And I can see why this one might not do. Um, there are a couple of reasons. As I say, for example, the art style uh, is very particular for, uh, for a start. Then, uh, then maybe that might clinch it for you. Maybe, maybe this game is not as good as Spider-Man 2 because of the fact that it is Ultimate Spider-Man. Um, but, as I say, ultimately, I don't mind. I, 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 I do like the art style. I like this comic book world. And I'm grinning from ear to ear. It's as simple as that. Anyway, I, I'm at risk of just repeating myself because all I can say is good things about this game. So uh, let's leave it there. But if you get a chance, if you too are a, um, a Spider-Man fan and you've been wondering how you can uh, possibly... Uh, or where, you know, where, can, where can we go? Where, where do we go from here? After sp playing Spider-Man 2, then possibly this is the game for you. Um, I mean, it's even got the ability to do the, the web zip up buildings just like Spider-Man 2. I love it. I love it, guys. I love it. Um, definitely give it a go. And as I say, it was, this was a pound, a pound in Oxfam. I almost feel bad paying only a pound for this. But it was well worth the punt. Anyway, guys... As ever, until next time, do take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>